Hello everyone. As we enter these dark days of a three week lockdown, um, and obviously you can't come and visit our beautiful tasting room, uh, we thought we'd just make a quick little film um, of Matthew here taking you through a few of the wines. So when you're sipping them at home, in your own living room or on your stoop, you can um, play this and enjoy them with Matthew. And uh, we're going to start off with our more, um, how should I say, everyday drinking wines. We've got a Sauvignon Blanc, our Petit Blanc Chenin, and our Rosé, as well as our Petit Rouge Merlot, and our beloved Baldrick Shiraz. So, first of all, a personal favourite of mine, the Chenin. South Africa is blessed with fantastic Chenin, and the Fuhr Paderberg where we're located is no exception. A lovely granite soils give us the most vibrant, fresh and exuberant Chenin that's probably available anywhere in the country. And uh, to help us with that, we've got a collection of beautiful old vines as well. So, next selection, Sauvignon Blanc. Now, we're blessed with a lovely selection of slopes and uh, age of vineyards, which are of course key. Older vineyards give you consistency, depth, complexity, whereas a lot of the younger vineyards have um, uh, planted to new clones, which uh, bring nuances to the, to the wine that you don't find sometimes in the old clones. And that's exactly what happens with the Sauvignon Blanc. Vineyards from 1981, 1984, but also in the new 2000s. Right, so the old vines give you uh, a more oiliness to the wine, and the younger vines give you that vibrancy and that green nettle and that flintiness, which is so popular in contemporary Sauvignon Blanc. Next selection, Rosé. Uh, we've been making the rosé for about eight years now and it continues to grow from strength to strength and I think one of the reasons that it does so well is that we've chosen uh, Merlot as the sort of flag bearer for our rosé. Now Merlot has a rather thin skin and imparts very moderate uh, delicate structure and very little colour. So you can see this is one of the nice light coloured rosés just that sort of onion skin, rose petal blush to it. And that's very much thanks to the Merlot, which doesn't give it so much of that colour and structure. Right, what can you expect on the nose? Well, some lovely raspberries, strawberries, and of course that floral lift that we want and expect from a premium quality rosé. Moving on to the Merlot, Petit Rouge Merlot. We have two Merlots in our portfolio. And uh, this is the lighter styled one with less oak, but nonetheless a very serious, very, very pleasant drink. So, Merlot, of course, is the most popular grape in South Africa and um, probably the second most popular wine in our portfolio. Nice red cherries, but also dark cherries, black cherries, a hint of plum, very, very, very subtle nuances of oak, mostly just a good, clean, um, fruity red wine, which is not too complicated, and you can enjoy it with a bright, uh, early evening drinking, anything of that sort. Now, a very popular wine with a quirky name, Baldrick Shiraz. This is a wine which has been in the Fundland portfolio since the very beginning and uh, is what we call a semi-serious wine. Semi-serious uh, because it can be drunk later in the evening but also has the kind of softness that you'd expect or enjoy earlier on in the evening or when you're having a red wine on its own purely for the pleasure of a red wine. Some of the complexity comes from the hint of Mouvedre which is added to the wine. Very small percentage just to bring out a bit of complexity and also to soften the somewhat spicy character of the Shiraz. 